Hello teacher friends. Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step way to create a virtual classroom for your students. And I'm also going to show you how you can upload that virtual classroom into Google Classroom. So we're going to use Google Slides. Um, the way I get to Google Slides is go to my mail and then click on the Google app, which are the nine dots on the right, and then click Slides. All right, so once you have a clean slide up, I want you to go ahead and simply click on your boxes there and click on it and then hit Delete. And then we're going to go to find us a background to put on our slide. So we're gonna go up here, click Background, and then choose Image. And then we're gonna go over to Google Image Search. And the keywords are wall, floor, background. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip in maybe outside because I want a wall, floor, background, but I want it to be outside because I would like to enjoy a little bit of sun. All right, so let's go down. I saw one that was kind of nice, but I'm trying to get something that's a little bit more sunny. Let's see if we can find something. Um, and it's really up to you what you select, um, but whatever you know you're feeling is, is nice, that's what you can pick. All right, so I'm gonna go back up. I saw something that, um, actually, let's pick this one. Okay, so you click on the image that you want and then you simply click insert and then you click done. Oh goodness, that background I don't like totally, but that's okay. We're going to keep on going. So the next thing we're going to do now that we have our wall floor background is let's go ahead and see if we can find maybe a chair or something for me to sit on because I'm going to add a bitmoji. So I'm going to go here to insert image. And then I went to search the web and now I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to find me and I'm going to first type in the word transparent and I'm going to say transparent, maybe big uh, chair. And then I will search for a chair. That's a kind of nice chair right there. But let's see if we can find something else. OK. All right. So maybe we will go with that chair, sort of like a queen queen bee chair. <laughs> All right, so we'll click on that chair and then we'll click insert and it'll make it really, really big. So we'll have to make it smaller. And actually I want it to face the other way. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna move it this way so the chair can actually face the other direction. And now I'm gonna kind of move it over here. And of course we have to make it smaller, can't be bigger than the little trees there. All right, so now we have us a queen bee chair. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it down so it can sit like, look like it's sitting on the ground. So now let's maybe add a couple of other things in here. Maybe we'll give us uh, maybe a desk to put something on or a table. So I'm gonna click up here where it says insert image and I'm gonna search the web and I'm gonna come over here where it says transparent and I'm gonna type in table. And you know what, I probably should say cartoon table since that looks like a cartoon chair. And let's go down and go down. Now, this is our virtual office space, but it's outside today. So we're going to try to be kind of relaxed. So maybe we'll put in uh, maybe this table. That looks kind of cute. We're going to click on that table and click insert. And by the way, we get we uh, type in transparent because if you don't, they'll uh, sometimes we'll, you'll have a, a um, sort of a background, a white colored background or a different color background. But when it's transparent, you won't see anything behind the actual picture. All right. So there we have our chair and then we have our table kind of sitting here that we're going to be relaxing on. OK, and then let's maybe go ahead, even though we're outside and we can click on this image and search the web and maybe find us a laptop that we can still uh, put on this table. All right, let's go down. 
All right, I think I saw, <laughs> that's a cute one with the little eyes. All right, I think I saw one. All right, let's just go ahead and maybe we'll choose the one with the nice little smiley face. So we'll click on it and then we'll click insert. And again, it, they usually come in pretty big. So we'll go ahead and make it smaller. Now, one way you can also um, change the direction of something is you can click on it. Um, and then you, what will come up is rotate. So then you can flip it horizontally and it'll turn it around the other way. And so we'll come over here and put this laptop down on the table. Got to make it a lot smaller. We don't want a gigantic uh, laptop. All right. So we'll make it a lot smaller and there you go. All right. Now, every uh, let's move our little laptop over. Now, everybody who knows me knows that I have a little cute little dog. So I'm going to come over here again and search the web for maybe a dog that we can put on here as well. And let's keep going, see if we can find this is the dog I usually use for my dog's name is Spices. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click insert. I'm going to make spices a lot smaller. And um, how about we give spices maybe a little bed to sleep on? So we'll search maybe a transparent uh, doggy bed, maybe. Ah, there's one right there. I like the green, so we'll click on it, click insert, and make Spice's bed smaller, and we'll bring it down here. And then we'll bring Spice's and put Spice's on the bed. Now, as you can see, Spice's is behind the bed, so in order to put Spice's in front of the bed, we can click on the picture and then right-click, and then what will come up is order. So you can put things behind things or bring it forward, um, send it backwards or send it back. But of course, this one, we want to bring spices forward. And there she is. And let's see if maybe we can lay her down just a little bit up. Nope, that doesn't look right. So let's bring her back. Maybe we'll just make her smaller. That's what we'll do. All right. So that means she's kind of sitting up there looking over there at me speaking of me let's go ahead and grab our bitmoji hopefully you know or you've already added your bitmoji to your laptop if not you have to add a bitmoji on your phone and then it will sync to uh, you can sync it to your laptop there is another tutorial on how to do that so right now i'm going to go ahead and click on my bitmoji and oh there's me sitting there and why don't we go ahead and Yes, I can be reading a book, so I'll click on it, and then I'll just copy the image. I'll come here, and then I'll paste the image. And as you can see, ooh, I have some nice pillows behind me, but I'm seated the wrong way, so I'm gonna bring me over here. But of course, I'm gonna have to make me smaller, and then I'm gonna have to flip me around the other way so I can fit into the chair. All right, so there we go. So now I'm sitting in this chair, that's a nice chair, boy. I'm sitting to do that. We need to go ahead and save this as a, as a background so that the students won't be able to move anything around, okay? So the way we do that is we go and we, we can do the snippet tool. So you come over here where you see the magnifying glass and you click snipping tool or type in snipping tool. This will come up. Let's move it out of the way. And then you can just go ahead and click new. And then you can just go ahead and highlight your entire classroom that you've made. And then you click file, save as, and it'll save, you can save it to your desktop. And maybe the, we'll call this, uh, let's call it morning meeting. And again, we saved it on the desktop and we'll simply click save. All right, now we can get rid of that. Now what we need to do is to come over here and let's add another um, Google slide. And this time, first of all, let's go ahead and get rid of our boxes here. 
And now we can go ahead and find that background that we just created. So we click the background, choose image. And this time we're going to go to upload and let's find the image that we just made. And I think we called it morning meeting. And there it is. So you double click on it and then you click done and there it is and now we can go ahead and add our text boxes and of course as you can see i can click i can type students cannot move this around so now all we have to do is make it virtual the way we do that is we can click on the text box here and we can maybe add a text box on this tree and now i would then as i said go to youtube grab here's where i read a story i'm going to hit share I'm going to copy the link and then I'm going to come back over to where I put this text box. I'm going to click in here. I'm going to click insert. I'm going to come down to link and then I'm going to control V, which will paste it. There are many ways to paste it, but that's one way. And then in the text box, I'm simply going to say click here for story time and maybe exclamation mark. And then I'm going to say apply. And now let's go ahead and just make this box white so that it, the students will pay attention to it. And when they come here, they will actually click here. And when they click there, they will automatically um, go directly to wherever you save that file. All right. Now for spices, I'm even going to add a little sound in there for spices. Um, I already uh, added a some barking on my phone and then I uploaded it to my email. And I'm going to go in here to video. And I'm going to click Google Drive because that's where it's saved. And here it is right here. And it comes out really big. So I'm going to make it smaller. Okay. And I'm going to sit it right beside spices. And don't worry, you don't have to say, you know, click here. Students, when they see this arrow, they will just automatically click there. So there you have your Google Classroom. So now we're going to come up here and click File. As a matter of fact, let's put a let's name it, and maybe we can name it. Um, tomorrow is May seventh, and we'll just say story time. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and get rid of this one, so we won't uh, get confused as to what it is we're saving. So we got rid of that one. So here we go. Now we're going to say file. We're going to say download PNG as a PNG image. And there it is, May 7th story time. So now we can come over to our Google Classroom and you can go ahead and add that as an announcement or you can add it as an assignment. First, let's add it as an announcement. So your students, of course, will, will end up on the streaming tab once they come into Google Classroom. So here I'm just gonna say, uh, click for, um, story time, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on add Google Drive and I'm going to click on actually recent and there it is right there. May 7th story time. I'm going to click on it and there it is and I'm going to post it. So now when students wake up in the morning and they see this on the streaming tab, they will come here. It says click for story time. They'll click on that for story time. And voila, they will land on their Google, um, Google slide. They can click there again and it will take them to the story that I read and I saved to YouTube. And they can even click here. And let's listen to Spices. Uh-oh, come on, Spices. Here we go. <laughs> All right, there you have it. And again, you can um, add this to uh, your Google Classroom as an assignment or any other platform that will accept uh, Google Slides. So hopefully this was helpful and this will be something exciting you can do for your students. If you like what you've seen or if you have any questions, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon. Bye.